Hurricane Express has been wrecked and a valuable gold shipment stolen by agents of a mysterious criminal who calls himself the wrecker. Frank Stratton, an escaped convict, has notified the railroad that he has the gold and will return it in exchange for certain documents that will clear him of the charges on which he was sent to prison. The railroad manager, Howard Edwards, has gone to meet Stratton at the appointed place, intending to trap him. Meanwhile, Edwards' secretary, Gloria Martin, who is really Gloria Stratton, the convict's daughter, has learned of the plot and is racing to warn her father. Gloria's friend, Larry Baker, whose father was murdered by the wrecker, is also headed in the same direction, accompanied by two railroad detectives, knowing that the wrecker intends to meet Stratton and recover the goal by force. Look out, Dad! It's a trap! The detectives are coming to get you! Get out of the car! You're not Mr. Edwards! Keep quiet! I'll trouble you for those papers, Stratton. I won't give them up. It means my life. It will mean your daughter's life if you don't. Now you show me where the gold is. It's in the mine shaft. away from that dynamite. Now the sound, Stratton, or your daughter dies. My Gloria, then it was your voice we heard. Where's the record? He got away. It was he who blew up the tunnel. Well, who is he? Did you get a good look at him? It was Edwards. Edwards? That's impossible. No, it wasn't, Mr. Edwards. I could tell by his voice. There's someone wearing a mask that looked like him. But I don't understand. What are you and your here? I came here to warn my father that the detectives had set a trap for him. Then you are Frank Stratton, the escaped convict? The man who looted the railroad? Larry, my father's an innocent man. He was sent to prison on false charges. Yes, I was friend. Edwards held out evidence that my child would have cleared me. But you did run away with a gold shipment from the Hurricane Express. You know I took it only to save it from the records, Dan. But I'm holding it now because it's the only weapon that I can use to force Edwards to clear me. Oh, Baker, where are you? Larry, won't you give my father a chance? If he goes back to prison now, he'll never be able to prove his innocence. Can you get out that way? Baker, Baker, where are you? Okay, I'm coming. Did you find anything? The 
No trace of the wrecker in that chap. You must have missed him. He couldn't have gone out any other way. This is where the wreck is said to stop them railroad detectives. Oh, we're too late now. Yeah, but we'd better stick around. The wreck will find some way to get word to us. Does that incoming freight stop here, Carlson? No, that's a fast freight. Go straight on through. Well, you've got to stop it. The wreckers aboard. Oh, I, I can't hold up any train on your say so. I have always suspected you were working for the wrecker. Now it looks like you're trying to help him get away. Are you going to stop that train or not? You've got me all wrong, Baker. I'm as keen to get the wrecker as you are. I'll try and stop it. aboard your train, conductor, for the master, Mr. Edwards, and he mustn't get away. I'm Jim Baker's son. You know, my father was murdered by the wrecker. 
Well, if the wrecker's on the train, we'll sure nail him. Take the train, boys. Grab anybody you find stealing a ride. sneaking away when we're searching for the wrecker. Well, you're crazy. I'm looking for the wrecker myself. Why should you look for him? I shouldn't have. Because the wrecker made me lose my job. Baker, what do you make of this? The wrecker's mask. Where did you find it? I found it in his car. Well, that clinches it. Jordan was just sneaking out of that car when I grabbed it. He's the wrecker. I'm not surprised. I suspected him ever since the first wreck of the Hurricane Express. I owe you an apology, Carlson, for the way I talked to you a while back. But frankly, I didn't believe you were telling the truth about Jordan's train running through the signal. He was lying. I didn't run through that signal. I was lying unconscious in the cab because a wrecker knocked me out. Why, your own fireman was right in the cab with you. He testified at the inquiry. <laughs> When they fired you for causing the wreck, didn't you threaten to get even the railroad? And haven't you been trying ever since to wreck the Hurricane Express? You, you framed me. You lied at my trial. Are you working with the wrecker yourself? That'll do, Jordan. I'm arresting you on pretty good proof that you're the wrecker. And we'll lock you in the station until the next train comes along. This will hold him, I guess. Call the dispatcher to have him stop the express to pick Jordan up. Go on, Baker. What time does the Hurricane Express do? 3.30. Well, pretty soon I'll have the record behind the bars. The man who murdered my father. Well, your clock must be slow, Carlton. I hear that train coming now. Why? That isn't the express. She didn't think. Run away, Fox Car. She'll crash the express if we don't stop her. Can you warn the express? There's no chance now. 